Do you want to learn GIS and WebGIS to start your GIS and WebGIS career? But you have many confusions from where you need to start, what you need to learn, what is the future of this sector? Then this course is for you. Because in this course, at the beginning, we will learn what is GIS and WebGIS, including ArcGIS software packages. We will learn ArcMap, ArcGlobe, ArcScene, ArcCatalog, ArcGIS Pro. We are going to learn QGIS. And then we will learn WebGIS also, including open source WebGIS platforms, GeoServer, ArcGIS Online, GIS Cloud. We will learn all of this with basic knowledge. Now let's start our course. Section 1 Introduction, Lecture Number 1 GIS. Lecture 1 After completing this lecture, you will learn what is GIS, functionalities of GIS, GIS maps with information, GIS components, advantages of GIS, use of GIS. GIS is layer-based information system. Watch this overlay maps of our body from skeleton layer to skin layer. Same as human body, GIS is similar layering mapped information in a computer to help us view our world as a system. What is GIS? Geographic Information System is defined as a system that provides geographic location-based information referenced by spatial or geographic coordinates as well as collection of tools to maintain, build, and use electronic maps and associated database. So, any system that gives us geographic location-based information is known as GIS. Now let's see functionalities of GIS. GIS identifies location, as example, address of particular family or group of people. It locates areas, as example, land use and area boundary. GIS locates physical infrastructure, example, building, water body, and sewer pipes. It locates incidents, example, crime statistics, road accidents, and disaster. It locates quantities or densities, example, population and disease mortality rates. GIS maps with information. GIS has maps with tables of data behind them. In GIS, when you combine different maps, you also combine corresponding data to get the information of map you need. So, GIS more than just maps. It gives the answer of quantitative questions to be asked from the map site. See the map. By the help of GIS, we can get many answers of quantitative questions. Say the plot number, the owner name, the address, city, state, jeep, property value, any type of quantitative questions answer we will get from GIS because GIS contain map with database. This data provides us information. From those informations, we will get this answer of quantitative questions. Not only that, GIS helps us to join and relate database with another database. Now let's see GIS components. These are the components of GIS. Software, hardware, database, management and procedure, pupil and network. 
advantages of GIS cost saving from great efficiency improved communication managing geographically better records keeping decision making becomes better now let's see use of GIS GIS can be used in many sectors including geography information technology banking sectors marketing sectors business sectors transport planning urban planning economical planning agriculture environmental sectors and many more thanks for watching and obviously enjoy gis